Welcome back to the Secrets of Success uh, affiliate training. Uh, excuse my voice again. I'm still uh, struggling with COVID, and so hopefully I'll make it make it through this video okay. Uh, so what you see on the screen right here is the uh, same share funnel I sent you yesterday, except I added a page to it. So initially I had what was just the redirect page here. And let's just go take a look inside of this here real quick. Because if you recall, the whole idea of the redirect page is you're going to make the background of it look like the page you're going to end up landing on. So that when somebody comes in here, the hidden timer that is right underneath here that you have to unhide to be able to set and put your affiliate link in, that will then redirect them to the page where you want them to go for the affiliate product. And remember, all of these bridge pages, everything we're talking about here can be used for things other than just the secrets of success. So again, if I recall, I'll just show you the things you have to make sure you set up really quick. So when you come in here, you want to make sure you come into your settings and have already set up a domain in your 1.0 account. Uh, pick which domain you want to use, and then that way you can have a nice nice domain. You don't have to use the affiliate link. You don't have to use a bit.ly link or some other shortener. You can just use your domain. And if you want to use just the root domain, so mydomain.com, directing here. Of course, you have to set your domain up properly. Um, and if you want a video on that, just reach out to me and I will shoot you a video or send you over. I have one on YouTube or you can just search my YouTube channel for um, uh, domain set up for ClickFunnels 1.0. Uh, so in this case here, if you were using just your root domain, it would come in and would land on this redirect page. Now you're saying, okay, well, I want to use the bridge page instead, which is what we're putting in here today. You just move that one up to the top because whatever page is at the top is where the uh, funnel begins and where that domain will end up resolving to. So I'll leave the redirect page up on top because that's the first one we did. And then also... You're going to probably want to change the uh, page path here. You can also change this, but I would leave that alone just so you have a difference between the redirect and the bridge page. And you can, because uh, you may want to just copy this and use it in other stuff, uh, clone the funnel itself. So we got the uh, path here. You're going to probably want to change that. That makes sense regarding the offer that you're putting out here. It might say, um, you know, secrets of success, or it might just say uh, free book offer, you know, something like that you might put in there. And then you want to click update at the bottom. And then same thing over here with publishing. You want to come in here and just change out this bit here to match whatever you put in the other part right before that. So then onto the bridge page itself. The difference between a bridge page and the redirect page is obviously the redirect page, they come in, boom, they just bounce right straight over. On the redirect page, we're going to either give them some sort of information or um, tell them about bonuses you're going to give them. Because a lot of times in an affiliate offer, you want to be able to say, okay, well, if you take advantage of this offer, we're also going to give you all this other stuff as well. And so what you would do is you would put a video in here. You'd have a headline. You'd have a logo of some sort. You got your headline here. Again, you want the background probably matching where you're going to just so there's some congruency so people don't go like from a green page to a red page and they go, okay, where the heck am I going here? And then you're going to put in a video here talking them through exactly what it is that you're going to be giving them for your bonuses. And then I'm going to show you here in a minute how to then also uh, capture an email address. And then below here, you would just come in and you would like add in another section. Let me come down here. We'll click on, well, let me see here. Let's come up here. We'll add a section. We'll say we want a full width section. We'll drag this down here. And then you put in a row and you put in more content down below here. Um, that would then spell out exactly what it is you're giving them in bonuses. So you want to give it to them in text. You also want to give them a mock-up of everything they're going to be getting and a breakdown of what the value of everything is, is what we refer to as the stack. But that's not the training for this video right now because I do have a link that I will be giving you to a lot more bridge page training. It's my uh, CF Ninja resources course. It's absolutely free. Just go there, sign up. There's going to be a bunch of stuff in there on how to do bridge pages. And this is what the page will look like when you come in here. So just put in an email, put in your password twice, and then log in and you'll get a free account. 
And once you get inside, this is what it's going to look like. This is kind of an old clunky site that I built. Um, I have to refix it or just leave it alone. That's kind of kind of where it's going to probably stay is I'm just going to leave it alone. Uh, because over here, you got your bridge uh, page funnels right there. And I say it's great for affiliates and network marketers. So we got a video here I shot about something that Steve Larson was doing. And there's a bunch of examples in here from Russell Brunson and Jim Edwards and a bunch of other stuff. Steve Larson, I think there might even be some stuff that uh, Steve White labeled to me that is also in here. And let's take a look at this. That's something else page three okay so there's a bunch of stuff in here so mostly on this uh, very first page here a whole bunch of different examples and information on how to get uh, a bridge page set up so you want to make sure you get over there and check out that training as well now in the case of what i have right here all I did, as you could tell is I just cloned this page essentially and put it in here could you use this exactly as this yeah, the answer is yes, you could, because I already have in here, in fact, let me just uh, click on the preview page right here, click on preview. I have put in here the actual video from the site with uh, Russell and uh, Justin on it. So I actually have that video right in here. So you could use this as is. So the whole idea is you send somebody here, you tease them with this, they watch the video, they say, oh my God, this is a fantastic offer. I want to get involved with the affiliate program. And they come down here and you say, click to view the entire affiliate page. And so on this button right here, you will come in under set action. You will take out that hashtag and you replace that with your affiliate link and again remember the affiliate link you want to be using is from your home page right here that's the affiliate link you want to be using so you would take that affiliate link in fact let me just come over here and let me copy that and then we'll come over here and we will paste that in right there and there's your affiliate link um, and at the end you would click on save I don't want to click on save because this is actually the share funnel that you'll be getting and I don't want to save my link in there and have you use it by accident and i just want to come in here just make sure i don't have any header or footer tracking code no i do not so it will not redirect anywhere else let me just check one more thing here make sure i do not have that timer in here anymore nope that is gone as well so there's no timer on this one they're just going to come in here they're going to watch the video when they're done watching the video they're going to click on the button and you see it's not red down here anymore had we not put that in it would still be red so let me show you what that looks like. Let me take this back out, take that out. Now down here at the bottom, it is red, letting you know that you still need to put your affiliate link in there. So this is a place you put your affiliate link. Now, going forward in the future, what you might want to do is say, okay, um, you know, with this one or something else, or once we get around to actually selling the offer itself, we may want to be putting in um, an email capture. So what we're going to do is we're just going to hit the plus button here and we're going to say, uh, let's drop in an input element and we'll move this above. And then when we do that, we're going to probably want to put a little more space at the top of this one here. Just give that a little room and then that's it. So now what we want to do, well, first off, we got to set this. So we want to say, we want to set this as, it has to be an email. You can change with the text uh, placeholder is on there, but it will be required. So before anybody can go anywhere, they have to put in their email address. Now it's slightly different on how we're going to deal with this button. And of course, you're going to want to change the text on the button if you are capturing somebody's email address. And again, in a case where you are making a big offer to them and you're saying, okay, well, you're going to get all these great bonuses when you sign up in your video, in your text, you say, okay, I need you to put in your email address so I know where to send your stuff to. So uh, once you buy it, send me an email, I'll match up the two email addresses. That way I know where to send your stuff. That way you also make sure you get a good email address and that's a really good way of putting this together. So that ensures they're gonna give you um, good stuff and you're gonna get good data and a good list. But then you're gonna change your button right here as well. Now in this case, what you're gonna do is you're gonna change this button out and you're going to change this to submit or submit form. So that's the top one right up here. The reason why is you have to submit it in order to be able to save this email address. So you're saying to yourself then, well, how the heck do I get them to the uh, email? Or I'm sorry, how do I get them to the affiliate page? And you come over here under settings, 
down to general, click on that, and right here it says on submit go to. And it looks like there's a link in here, but there's not a link. You can't delete it. There's really nothing in here. And in here is where you would paste in then your affiliate link. So your affiliate link would go right there. So it says when this form is submitted down here, when the email is saved, we want to go to this link. So it'll still take them to the affiliate offer page, um, but it will also save the email address first. Now, the other thing is, again, when you're going to do that, you would then, in that case, uh, change out the headline. You know, the headline is going to be something about the offer that you're giving them, the bonuses they're going to get when they do this. Same thing with the video. It's all going to be about the bonuses. But if you are just going to get them here, tease them with this video, then send them to the page itself, which would be, again, this page right here, so they can go through the rest of this and then sign up you could use this for that. So I think I did everything. We went through the resources. Make sure you come over here and check those out again.